Okay, guys, let's see if now we'll be able to finish. And last time I asked you just to do a type of validation that will make sure that the number or the GPA that put in, it's going to be put in that box right here. Come on, go, go, go. Right here would be bigger, in, uh, bigger than zero and less than four. So that's what I did here. Uh, you don't have to have the same solution, uh, but that's how I did here. Just put another, just like this one here when I tried to parse, did the same, but in this case, if it is true, I want to check if the number, the one that was out, is less than zero or bigger than four. If that's the case, you're going to have to input something else, and I'm gonna, they're going to have the message box. Else, everything's going to be fine. Let me take this bus lightly out of here. Okay, so else, let's start doing doing things here. So the first thing I want to do is to create a, a, a student object. So, and I believe I talked about that before. Hold on, let me see what's going on here. Why am I having this problem here? It's supposed to be creating right away. He's telling me here that the name of student does not exist. I think I know what it ha what happened is. The student class is here, as we remember, in the DBML files, right? When we create the, the object in the, data, in the database, uh, it was created here. And, um, at this, and, and this is in another project called business, right? I, I believe I have the reference. Let me make sure I have the reference for business. Um, I have the reference here. But now, right here, as you see, I have that reference here, so I w that was added before, but now I have to add that in here as well. So let's do is using, oh, what did I do wrong? Using business. Now let's see. Okay, now it's it's good to go. So a student, a student, that's a class I'm creating, equals a new, new student. Okay, so, Oh, and I'm going to have to put this between brackets because I'm going to need uh, much more line than that. So, here it goes. So, it's to, let's start setting the, the name of the variable. So, a student dot uh, first name equals, uh, this first name is the one that is the field in the database. I want that to be equal to the text box first name that I have in the WPF and that I also named first name. So first name dot text dot trim. Make sure you trim it for the same reason I talked about in one of the tutorials before. Now also a student that um, uh, last name supposed to have last name here uh, equals to to last name dot text oh not template text dot trim again uh, now the other thing I, I, I have is the gender so it's okay for the gender I'm gonna I have to know which one of those guys are checked so I'm gonna have to do an if and else here so I'm gonna have if um, if male that is checked equals to true oh, what did I do wrong? equals to true then I'll have uh, a student dot uh, gender equals to M of male, right? And else, I'm gonna have a, a student dot gender equals to F of female. And I have something wrong here. Okay, it's fixed now. So there you go. And for the GPA, um, a student the GPA equals to um, it's gonna be equal to this number here, right? So go to number. Okay, guys, I have that ready. And I must add that into the database though. And remember I create this class here, admin.cs that's gonna handle the business part or, or especially this database. So let's we're gonna have to do something here though first. 
first of all, let's create a region. And what is a region? Region is just to make your code organized. Uh, it won't in have any influence in, in the code, uh, in the compilation or anything. It's just to make sure that, um, like for example, I'm gonna I'm about to create something here. So I have this region. I can actually put a name here. I'm gonna put that for student. I'm gonna do with the student here. If I wanna add, update, delete, that's where I'm gonna deal with it. When I do class, I'm gonna create another region and, and deal with, with class for that, okay? Um, you don't have to put that, but it makes your code more organized, okay? So I have a student, and what I wanna do here, I wanna create a method. Um, so here you go, let's create the method here that we want it. So it's gonna be a public, uh, static, uh, it's gonna be void. And I'm gonna call that add student, okay? And the parameter I wanna have is a student class, student object, okay? So student, okay, now, let me do that. Now I wanna uh, have a database for that. So using, uh, see, do I need that? Maybe not, let me, let me cure that if we're gonna. Well, I think I don't need that using, but I'm going to put it here anyway. So what I want to do is just create a connection here right now. So the name of the database is school, right? And it's school data, data contact. So that's what I want to do. Um, and I'm going to call that con of connection equals a new school data, data contacts. Okay, that's great. Okay, so put that. Um, now, now let me make sure we got the code here for inserting. So I have con, which is the 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 name of the variable I had here. Dot students, and that I'm talking about the table student. Um, dot insert. You want to insert on submit in this case because there's no constraint. So not insert all, but insert on submit. And I want to, what do I want to insert? I want to insert a student. So I put here student. And I mean, the student is this student here that I'm talking about. Okay. Another thing we're going to need is uh, submit on changes. So con, that's another method, submit changes. Okay, we should be pretty much set here. So let's go back to the add student. And here, what we, like, we have everything set up already, right? So let's just come here. And test it out. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to first of all pass the argument to that to that um, to that method to make sure that thing is gonna happen. So let me come here. Uh, it's admin. Oh, hold on. Okay, admin. Admin dot. Uh, we're supposed to be having something going on here. How come is that not reading my guy? It's supposed to be reading admin. And I mean, this admin here, you see, since I already have the business right here, I'm supposed to have the admin in here, but it's not letting me. But let me make sure, let me try it again. Admin. Oh. Oh, I was pretty sure that I add the reference here. Let me try that again. Add reference. Come on, don't take too long. Okay, so when you do that, come here to project. I think that was added, but it's not showing. Let me try to add it again. Uh, and let me try to put admin here. Admin dot... Well, it's not liking this admin. Oh, protection. Let's see what we have for the protection. Let's put it public, right? You gotta do that, otherwise I uh, won't be able to. Well, let's see what else. Let's see what's wrong. Well, that's right. If this is static, everybody else got to be static. And the public should... 
I guess it doesn't matter the order, but let me put that here. Public static. Okay, let's see if that, let's save it. And now I can see that there, you see? Okay guys, time's up. Next time you're gonna test it. If you actually try to add a student right now, you're gonna be able to. Try that out and see what happened. Next time we're gonna make sure that it happened. Okay, thanks guys, bye.